Tonight, we are looking back at a couple of key issues from the November election. This hour, a question. What do you think about voting by mail? Chances are your answer may depend on your party. A recent poll found 70% of Republicans say the November election wasn't free and fair, and many of them point to mail-in ballots as a problem. Democrats tend to support voting by mail as a convenient, reliable, and easy method of voting. Tens of millions of people voted that way last month, many for the first time. So did it work? And is it here to stay? Like most everything in 2020, Election Day was going to be different, as nervous voters pondered the best way to safely cast their ballot during a pandemic. States offered extensive early voting options, and more than 100 million people took advantage. That's not far from the total number who voted in the 2016 election. People lined up for hours in some states to vote in person, and more than 65 million people cast votes by mail. There's no uniform election code across the country. The Constitution leaves that up to individual states. And there are a number of different rules across the country addressing everything from how vote-by-mail ballots are requested to how and when they're ultimately counted. Five states currently use vote-by-mail exclusively, including Oregon. I have been proposing since 2002 taking the Oregon system national. Oregon Senator Ron Wyden, a Democrat, was the first U.S. Senator to win office in an election solely by mail. That was 1996. He likes to point out the second senator elected by mail was his former colleague, Gordon Smith, a Republican. Oregonians said enough of all this kind of partisan finger pointing and the like. We put it on the ballot and overwhelmingly Democrats and Republicans said we like vote by mail and that's why we have it. Wyden says to show how easy it is, he pinned a video to his Twitter page, literally walking people through the process. We can either drop it in the mail or we can take it to one of our drop boxes. Every registered voter gets a ballot in the mail and returns it by mail or in an approved drop box. But not every state and certainly not every voter is on board, starting with President Trump. Although he voted by mail in Florida, he consistently and vigorously questioned the security of the system, saying in one tweet, mail in elections are a sick joke. The president discouraged his supporters from voting by mail, and it may have cost him, at least in Georgia, a state Joe Biden won by just more than 12,000 votes. According to the Secretary of State, 24,000 Republicans who voted by mail in the primary didn't vote in the general election. It was more than enough to potentially swing the outcome there. The president remains steadfast in his belief that the mail-in process is fraught with issues and fraud, and millions of those votes should be tossed out. To date, the courts have dismissed his cases, including the Supreme Court. In states the president is contesting, election officials have defended the system, insisting the votes and the outcome were legitimate. The president isn't challenging results in Florida or North Carolina, two states he won. A total of six million people in those two states voted early and by mail. The Supreme Court even weighed in, allowing North Carolina more time to accept and count ballots that were postmarked by Election Day, but came in days after the polls closed. Has it become a political issue? Analysts think it helped Democrats in this election cycle because more of them used it to vote during the pandemic. President Trump has said if the U.S. switched to an all-vote-by-mail system, you'd never have a Republican elected in this country again. Numerous academic institutions have studied it, from Yale to Stanford, and their research shows vote-by-mail is party-neutral. It doesn't give a clear advantage to either Democrats or Republicans. It took a pandemic, but Senator Wyden finally got his wish. Millions of people have now experienced a largely vote-by-mail election. Despite their legal losses, many Republicans insist the election was stolen and point to vote by mail as a problem. For his part, Senator Wyden is promising to move forward with a national vote by mail plan. Do you think this election helped your cause? No question about it. I will be introducing my legislation early in 2021, and I expect to have a lot more sponsors. What will that legislation look like? The legislation be pretty um, straightforward. It'll be a chance to take the Oregon vote by mail system national and make sure that everybody has a chance to conveniently vote by mail. Do you think this sold people on the idea of voting by mail? I do. And the track record, Joe, is once you've tried vote by mail and the country now has and in a big way as a result of the pandemic, 
nobody wants to go back. Supporters of vote by mail quote the president's own appointees, including Chris Krebs, the cybersecurity director, who said it was the most secure election ever, and Attorney General Bill Barr, who said there was no evidence of widespread fraud that would have changed the result. Krebs was fired. Barr, of course, resigned yesterday. So uh, at this point, uh, it is a marketing issue in some ways for supporters of vote by mail. They're going to have to convince people who don't like the idea of doing this that it is safe and it is reliable. And I think we're getting at least an instant temperature read right now in Georgia, where we have these two runoff elections underway right now. As of right now, this election is in January, January 5th. 1.2 million people have already requested vote by mail ballots. Wow. It is interesting. And Joe, you and I both lived in states that have done the mail-in voting, Oregon and Washington, for years. The advantage that you hear a lot of times from people is that it's convenient, that you can take your time. You can be at home if there are races you're not familiar with. You can research those and then vote. But the one thing that people always say they miss is actually going right. to the polls in person. Yeah, there are a lot of people clearly who do like to do that as well. So we'll see what happens moving forward. But I do think it's important for, for secretaries of state to show these issues that people might have with it about uh, matching signatures and envelopes. The things that are perceived problems need to be addressed in a marketing way, if you will, or at least a better way to sell this to people who have their doubts. But we are a nation that likes convenience, right? So it seems like a good thing. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Thank you, Joe.